Mr. Jemaya, I made my name. Turn it down. Because there's one. So first of all, everybody, this is Jessica Bordelon, realtor with Berkshire Hathaway here in New Orleans, and I am very pleased and honored to be interviewing Michael Ballard, who is a licensed architect here in the city, in his beautiful home. Um, I love everything you did here. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. So, got to give credit. So, it's by myself and Miriam Salas of Campbell Architects which is my better half, my, my muse, raison d'etre. She's in the background yes. making sure that she says, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, um, so tell me, um, you know, I, I have some questions here, but something I wanted to start with, because I noticed you have your own architecture firm, right? right? Um, can you tell us about the company and how can people reach you right from the beginning? Sure. So it's easy. Uh, and I'll give a little backstory on that question. First of all, I'm happy to be here. I uh, always look at your content on LinkedIn. Thank you. Like every time I look at my feed, I'm like, oh, you're having a different uh, person on there. I love it. Keep doing it. Absolutely. Uh, second, so my company is easy to remember. It's I need an architect.com. And I listen to business podcasts a lot. Yeah. And one person said something that really struck me. He said, people don't really care about your about you page and mm. your whole story. Only thing that's gonna make people remember you yeah. and put it in their mental role index is do you solve a problem? Absolutely. I do. Every time somebody calls me, they've gone to a lender mm -hmm. or they've gone to a contractor for their residential renovation, let's say. Okay. And they go to a lender and say, can you give me a loan for my renovation? Mm -hmm. And the lender says, well, let me see your plans. Mm -hmm. I don't have plans. Oh, you need an architect. So then they call me and they tell me, I need an architect. And there it is. The same thing with the contractor. So yeah. I literally went on GoDaddy.com. Yeah. I said, I need an architect.com. It was available for $42. <laughs> I bought it and changed the name of the company. So yeah. literally, my whole thing is, is to guide people through the process when you need an architect. I try to make it simple for me, people. Mm -hmm. I like people talking to me like I'm five years old. It doesn't hurt my feelings when, when I don't understand things. So I try to break down the process yeah. them the same way. Absolutely. I want to say something also because in addition to being a real estate agent, I also do marketing for folks. Mm -hmm. And one of the big things I try to get people to understand when they want a website is what you just said. It's it, what is your ultimate goal as a business owner? And you want to connect with the people who need something from you, whether it's a service or a product. And so having that name, I, I need an architect.com is fabulous. And I went to the website and it was, it was easy because I was like, okay, I know what this person has available. I know how to reach him and easy to find your work samples and things like that. And so that's really the most important thing. Right. You don't need 20 tabs on your website. You, you maybe need two, maybe two. You know, but absolutely fabulous. So. That's it. I give people an option. You can clearly see it uh, on the home page. And then yeah. I give people an option to schedule a visit with me. So that's okay. free because that's just business development. Exactly. So they can schedule a visit. I get an email notification that gives me your name, your phone number, and your email. And then I can come out to your house and I can give you a proposal within 48 hours. You know, options that are available. They're not always, they don't always have to be exotic, uh, like a nude. And I've been seeing more people start investment groups. So they go. Renovation, I always tell people, like, wait till I get in the attic, wait till I get under the house. A lot of people confuse warranty with homeowner's insurance. Mm. So 